making art out of DJ. This is DJ Crossfade. When we make love all night, all day. Well, good afternoon. Time for show number 12, Monday Football. It's 1.30 and you know what time it is. It's time to get you updates on football and discuss anything around football. We do it in a unique way. And as usual, we have surprises for you every other week today. Quick fire is 20,000 Kenya shillings. We'll open up the lines, be the first ones to call and tell us why you need my 20,000 Kenya shillings. On top of that, our question of the day is, how far do you think Arambe Stars will go in the Cup of Nations? Do we have the team to qualify out of the group stages of the Cup of Nations? We'll give you much more details about the Cup of Nations later and what we'll be doing. But first, Bernard. Right, of course, you've seen the images of the team that uh, was walking in the beginning of the show, and that is the Lion Stars FC. Now, this is a very unique team that will be joining us this afternoon just to tell us more about uh, the beautiful game on from their own uh, unique perspective. And also, this afternoon, we are honored to have uh, some a lovely lady here. Her name is Chef Sewe. That's what I understand. She works with the Rainbow Royal Resort. She's going to be preparing something uh, in the background. And remember, of course, this is lunchtime, so we are just trying to see whether or not we can be able to have some energy uh, to be able to chase away the cold. Michael Kini, the month of June has been very cold, and uh, Madame Sewe will be preparing something for us in the course of the show. We'll be able to find out what exactly she has lined up for us on the menu. And also remember, uh, the hashtag to use is Monday Football. Michael Kini has asked you the question at Bernard Ndong and at Season TV Kenya, as Mike mentioned. Uh, we also want you to get some money as well. Uh, we'll be listening in the course of the show, we'll be giving out the answers, and that is a segment of Quick Fire. And also, on the Super Wall, we'll be trying to see whether the members of the Lion Star FC Mike will be able to achieve and actually score and get some money, as has been the case in the past few weeks for the teams that have been in the show. Also in studio with us is DJ Crossfade on the ones and twos to chase away the cold. I'm covering Crossfade in the Mesonga Apo. I'm the Mayani fan of Kubo Sana Harambe Stars. I'd like to hear what he has to say about the Harambe Stars and what they'll be doing in Egypt. So that one will be coming later. Plus, on the quick fire, it's 20,000 Bob, but I'm telling you, the leakages will come quick and fast. All the questions, the answers are within this show. I think the first three questions I've already given you the answers, but largely on the Cup of Nations and the Arambe Stars. How well do you know Arambe Stars? How well, much have you researched on the Africa Cup of Nations? That is where the questions will be coming. And I've got a set of 14 questions. All I need is eight correct answers. If you get eight correct answers, I'll be able to give you 20,000 Kenya shillings because we have a show tomorrow and I will not tell you now what it is, but by the time we are finishing the show today, we'll be telling you what we'll be doing from tomorrow with the Africa Cup of Nations. Are we ready, Bernard? Right, let's take a look at what transpired in the world of football locally. Remember, the National League, uh, the Kenya Premier League concluded about a week ago and the National Super League as well concluded. That is the second tier tournament and Wazito FC sealed their place into next season's Kenyan Premier League after a resounding 7-1 victory over St. Joseph's. The game was played at the Camp Toyoyo rounds in Nairobi to clinch the National Super League title. The floodgates began early in the first half when Joseph Waidera struck the open after seven minutes. Four minutes later, Paul Aqua doubled the scoreline. That goal inspired two more from Amos Asembeka, who scored a brace in quick succession. Waidera, who opened the scoring in the first half, did the same in the second with Wazito's fifth. Derek Onyango made it six before Waidera put the nail on St. Joseph's coffin with a seventh goal. Kevin Tabu scored a consolation for St. Joseph's, but the damage was already done. Another team that also earned promotion was Kisumu All-Stars, and Ian Motanda and Eric Otieno each scored a hat-trick for the Kisumu Bay side as they joined Wazito in the Kenyan Premier League, crashing Thika United by a similar scoreline. Interesting. Otieno scored the opening goal after two minutes before Motanda doubled the scoreline 10 minutes later. The floodgates opened, as in the other game, with four more goals with Motanda and Otieno, the tormentors in chief. Moses Odiambo was also on the score sheet with Thika securing a consolation goal.
right of course Kisumu All Stars was trending yesterday given the fact that they have progressed to the top flight and then one team that will be hoping perhaps to join those two teams is Nairobi's team and they will know their fate once they face off against Poster Rangers in the KPL promotion playoff now the date according to KPL uh, is tentatively on the 15th of this month and the return leg to be on the 19th of this month for Stima, they concluded the regular season on a winning note. Nonetheless, they crushed Eldoret Youth 4-2. Dennis Owalo scored a hat-trick for the visiting side with Brian Musa adding the fourth. Eldoret Youth's goals were scored by Anthony Chingwa and Kevin Chetty. Right, let's head on to France where the Ambassador Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed has given the Harambe Stars camp a thumbs up after visiting the team at the French Rugby Training Facility. The team has been in Europe for more than a week as they prepare for this year's African Cup of Nations that is set to kick off in the next few days. It kicks off on the 21st of this month and you can see there on the images uh, the Sports CS uh, interacting with the national football team Arambe Stars, just getting a sense of uh, what they have been doing in the past uh, nine days or so. You can see an ice bath there. That is important for recovery for the team, uh, of course, as they prepare for this year's Africa Cup of Nations. The last time Arambe Stars, remember, uh, have been in this continental showpiece was 15 years ago, and uh, the preparations have been uh, uh, quite intense. And uh, the CS just got a sense of what uh, the team has been doing their itinerary, uh, the facilities as well. And also, I'm sure she was making some notes as far as how the national football teams uh, can be prepared for major tournaments, not necessarily even football, other sporting uh, disciplines can be able to uh, learn from uh, organizing such a camp out of town. And the facilities that have been utilizing, you can see there the CS uh, in the gym. This Remember, this is the Fr French Rugby Federation facility where she toured the facility and interacted with the players. And she was also there in their first friendly against uh, Madagascar, another team that is also qualified for this year's Africa Cup of Nations. And let's listen to what the CS had to say after her tour as regards to Team Kenya's camp in France. It's been a real eye-opener, very informative. Um, I have learned uh, quite a lot of what needs to be put in place for a team to have the support that it needs to win. Uh, not even just not not just to win, but to participate, right, in championships. Uh, you know, so so yeah, these are lessons that we are going to take back home. And as I mentioned, the national football team, of course, they faced off against Madas Madagascar. They'll have two friendly matches ahead of this is African Cup of Nations. Uh, they faced off against uh, Madagascar and won that game by a solitary goal. Here, the highlights of that victory by the Stars in France. We were lucky to, to return in half time with a draw. It's exactly what I say to, to the team. But in football, you have uh, uh, two periods, and uh, it was uh, better in second half. We need to put our head down, learn from our mistakes here. We did uh, a lot of mistakes also as well today, but uh, we still have uh, uh, room to, to learn. Uh, the team is young, but uh, today, everyone. Right, that's the national football team and Stars were just counting down to this year's Africa Cup of Nations. Remember, it's about 11 days to go. Michael Kinyi, they have been there for about more than a week. Uh, I, of course, the biggest talking point has been why go to Europe, uh, preparing for a tournament that's hap happening in a quite a hot area. Actually, so many guys, the question has been, why do we have to use altitude that is not the same as Egypt, mm. why not just acclimatize from the word go? Right. Most of the teams have gone to Middle East. Right. Uganda have gone to Middle East. Right. Ghana have gone to Middle East. Uh, who else is in, uh, no, Tanzania, our neighbors. Yes. They've gone to Egypt straight, because Egypt have got... One of the fastest ones to, yes. to travel there. They've got the facilities there. They will settle in easier, right? So maybe they have a better understanding of why the coach should tell us why they went there. And I remember, my friend Tim from Capital FM is there with the team and he says, don't be fooled by the sun. It's pretty cold yes. out there. It's actually summer. Yes, yeah. but it's cold. Mm. So I'm trying to imagine you train in that 
cold weather, then you go into Egypt, hot weather, they say it will vote five days to acclimatize, but will it be enough? Then maybe the coach doesn't want a lot of distractions where there are a lot of Kenyans, right. of course, and he has a squad of 27. He needs to drop four before, in the next two days, he has to drop four because the list has to be taken to CAF. So most likely he'll name days. his team after their next friendly yes. against uh, the DRC. Yes, after DRC game, then he'll give us his final 23. Right. It's a big one. Yes, let's now invite our guests to join us. Arambo Pretty much well. Mm. We are supporting them. Uko sure? Yes. Aye, ah, yeah. introduce Kwanza. What was the maji wa waone? Or skima jina yengi yote? Oh, I'm Ruth Mweni and I'm the team manager for Lion Stars FC. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, my name is Emmanuel Karani and the head coach of Lion Star. Excuse me, the coach? Sindio. Pale city? Yeah. Eh, nye watu toka mbali? Ah, baraza, kazi ya baraza hii. Aye. Yeah. Yo story tuafungua siku ingine kwa mbali. <laughs> when you tell me, how, how is it managing a men's team? Um, it's quite difficult at some end. Although the um, team has come as a project for Short Stage Society of Kenya, mm -hmm. an organization that serves persons uh, living with dwarfism as a condition. Mm -hmm. And we have other projects, but this is a major We're told project. We are to call them dwarfs. Um, yes, but the yes. condition. The condition the is condition dwarfism. Is dwarfism. Mm -hmm. but how do you term, define it? The term dwarf is not correct. Uh, yes. It's, it's a medical condition. Mm -hmm. It's a medical word that is mostly used for that condition. Okay. Yeah. So most of the time we don't use it. But we use it to some extent when we are defining the condition. Okay. So yes. the condition is dwarfism. Yes. 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 But the correct name is people with short stature. Yes. Okay. Short stature. Uh -huh. To some extent you might use the word little people little or people. little person mm -hmm. because Americans use it. Okay. Yes. So, how was this team formed? It was formed in 20, 2018, mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. um, it came up because most of our members who are men, they support football, mm -hmm. either it's Premier League or any other league. And so they had that motivation that why can't we start our own football team? So that's how it started. And it's not only in Nairobi, but we have also another team in Wasingishu and Mombasa. Mm -hmm. The main motivation of the team is to inspire other people with uh, the condition of dwarfism or short stature. And also to let the society know that we are there, we are humans. We have uh, our own likes. People like football. Mm -hmm. They like it. I support them. And that's why we started it. To motivate, to inspire, and to em empower other people. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not been easy though. It has not been easy because um, it's something new that is starting. And you know, in a developing country, everything must start somewhere. And by the time the, it goes to somewhere else, the process is long. So we started like uh, like 10 of us in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So the number is still growing. And we're expecting even to reach um, through this awareness of soccer to other people We've been through Ghana and in other counties because I know they are there. They like the game, but they don't know how to start it and they don't know how to play it. They don't know whether this soccer game still exists for us as people of short stature. That's why we started it now to motivate them also. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, when we started last year, we have grown. Um, we don't have that much, like technically, there are some challenges that we are facing, but at least we have gone from somewhere. You've reached some place? Yes. Coach? Yes. Uliachama Junior, ukaingia kwa Lions? Ah, what a... Niko tuna wote kwa moja. Hmm. Kujiachama Junior? Sizi wachama Junior. Niko nafikiri umeacha tukufukuze kwa studio sahi? Apa, na sizi wachama Junior, badu na deli tunao. Una balance haji hizo mbili? Sasa unajua wao niko na time yao. Labda wao ni weekend. Labda majuni tuko makoch wengi ni ambao tunasaidiana nao. Okay. So kama Lions Star wamekuja hao ndio deal nao kuanzia 8 to 9. Alafu sasa hawa kimaliza sasa ndio nianze kwa majuni. Majuni ni kuanzia 10 10 baka 12. After that sasa pia mimi nae niingie. Nianze kwa train sasa. Very good. Yeah. Challenges are to team again because you work on a condition. Ndio. Yes. Challenges ni miko tuna kidogo kwao. Kwa kwao wenyewe utapata sio 
wote huwa wanakuja kuna wengi wengine wanatoka mbali mm. challenge imeko nayo mm. so utapata ni wachache sana naweza kuwa na labda kama watu watano na zingine sometimes na zingine watakuja wanne sababu ya kazi okay. so uwezi ambia uwezi ambia msee niaje utakuja tizi labda ana fair unaona mm. hiyo ni challenge ya kwanza challenge ya pili huyu mtu anataka kucheza ball lakini anashindwa ataanza aje so lazima umfanye nini uanze kumshap kumwambia hivi na hivi okay ndio bila ni ngumu ni ngumu sana ku ku deal na yeye ya kuje afanye nini akachapa hiyo ball ni ngumu ni kama tu umanza nasare unaona ndio anze ya kuja ishike labda unaweza fanya kitu labda ukarudi ukarudia na kitu kingine ball ball ndio tulikuwa na ball moja hatuna ati ball nime tunasema hawa hii ball inaweza patia huyu akafanya hii mm. inabidi tu nitumie hiyo ball moja kwa wote labda kuna, kuna wengine wale washa nishaonesha washajua sasa hao wenye wamekuja nyuma itabidi sana nirudie tena hiyo nini hiyo hiyo ni nyinyi mmelifanya ili ndio fanye nini wina aikacha hapo hapo hivi skills zao ziko poa sahi skills ziko poa so tukupea dakika tatu hivi unaweza tufanyia drills kidogo hapa sahi na team ndio wanaweza fanya haya haya ingia basi Anza 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 anza. Bond hii. Hapo sasa. Nice one. <laughs> Next. <laughs> That is a captured mic. <laughs> okay. They call yeah. him Sonko. He'll be telling us why. Ah, Shoot down down chill chill. Ah, nataka iko na hewa. Hiyo iko na hewa. Chapa mawe. Nasi ga supu yote. Piga. Kuna masani on your right, eh? On side side gani? Imetoa. <laughs> 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 Hapo. Naweza? Dribula, dribula. Dribble. Huyo ni ball. Second ball ni kabu. Dribble. Wameogopa IT yangu. Eh, twende. Alafu. Nice one. Kamu. Wah. Safi. Jack Jack. Ah, coach. Yes. Nimekuachia session sasa. Tupatie dakika tatu. Nimeona so. skills ziko. Skills ziko. Eh. Yeah. So, every fanya demo kidogo second if pass and follow pass and follow hapa hivi immediately tuone so mike as it yeah. prepares the team i can just remind and follow, us, uh, and what the club and is all about so i'll just come here on the video wall and as mike just touched on it a bit earlier and also our guest uh, they said that this club was formed in 2018 and of course it was formed by the short stature society of kenya is a non-profit uh, fully registered organization in 2013 under the registrar of societies mike Team was formed in 2018. You can see they are undergoing their drills, Mike. And they played a friendly last year at the Machakos People's Park. The Lion Stars is one of the big soccer groups formed with a com- common goal of bringing short persons together to play, get empowered and create awareness. And as we mentioned, it's obviously targeting persons of short stature. And they're planning to have Mike a friendly uh, with people living that minimum on the 15th of this month that's in a few days as a way of creating awareness on disability and sports. And the team is expected to travel to Morocco for a friendly match with other short stature persons in October to celebrate dwarfism awareness month Mike. Mm-hmm. Your uh, analysis of their ball skills. 
Onaweza? Mm-hmm. I mean, ball control is more than I expected. Right. To be sure. Mm-hmm. And when you see a ball, on a jua ball, see wongo. Yeah. They've only so been this born one year. Through. Just one year old. A club that is one year old. Wow. Maybe Buni can tell us as the drills are going on. Mm-hmm. Where do you get the funding um, for the team? Currently, we don't have any funding. Um, actually, the uniform that they are wearing, it was out of their own pockets. Yes. But there is a person from the county, uh, office of the governor, who has promised to give them uniform. And, who is that? Uh, some balls, the governor. Governor has promised to give them balls? Yes, and uniform. Okay. Yeah, at the full kit. You have to put on Kabisa. What are you doing, Nani? Yes. Come, come out of water, Nani. Yes. Then we we'll see how that that promise goes. Yes. So, other than finances, of course, yes. and what the coach talked about in terms of getting the players together, mm. what are the challenges are we facing? Knowing that this is a team mm. with people with a condition. Mm. Yeah. What challenges do you face? You know, we have like uh, over 200 types of dwarfism. 200? Uh, yes, 200. And actually, most of it is people who have acrodroplasia. And if you can see, even the players who are here, yes. they are, their type of graph is a little bit different from each other. And then, mm. so as, as they play, yes. the coach must know that each person has his own challenge when playing the game. Mm. So not all of them can play. Not all of them can be goalkeepers, can be, I don't know, midfield. So that's a challenge because getting a team together with uh, d- people who have different conditions is a little bit tricky. Then the other one is we need a lot of awareness. I know they are there, most of them who are in other counties, and they don't know anything about soccer, and they don't know even they can play. So a lot of advocacy and lobbying is needed to create awareness about the game and also for other games that they play. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, in terms of the size of the pitch that we have and the size of equipment that we use, is it? Do we play on a normal pitch, normal equipment in terms of same size of ball? No. In fact, the size of the ball for them is different. I think it's a little bit smaller, size four. Okay. Yes. So this, for these them, are five. These are size yes, five, for yeah. them to play with this one, it's yes. big for their size. Mm-hmm. And also the pitch, they play half court. Mm-hmm. They can't play the full court. Mm-hmm. And also the size of the net. Usually they use the one for handball. I think it's almost like this one. It's almost not, like not this the, the, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not okay. the regular one for the regular persons. Okay. Yes. And the games are how long? I think they play the normal game. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that's yes. alright. Yes. Then Dong, I think it's very interesting, eh? Yes. That's enough warm up, eh? That's a proper, proper, proper warm up. Yes. It's important just to get a few sentiments from the captain. Yes. The captain. <laughs> <laughs> Not only you are very enthusiastic, you have been with the Malay club for how long have you been the last year, but you have been with the for how long? Apo me aribu sasa. Sasa me aribu. Mimi pia kwa Manchester United Apo sasa umesema ukweli. Yes. Of course, Mike, I think it's important for people to understand uh, a few key things in terms of terminologies. The 
course, the official just stated about how uh, we should be able to, to refer to people who have short stage, and it's very important. If you have a pen and paper, kindly note. I'm sure you need to interact with individuals uh, with this condition, and it is important for you to understand exactly how they should be addressed because it is what we call derogatory. To be able to use certain expressions, and in just a moment, just refresh this. Just a moment, so I can able to get a sense because, Mike, yeah. I think. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that most people don't know these things. And one of the important things, and I don't know if we can be able to get a close up of no, what no, is no, here no, on the super wall, on the video world rather, is that you should not, yes, you should not call somebody who was a short stature, you should not call them a dwarf. That is not allowed. That is not allowed. You should not call somebody who has short stature a dwarf. Also, Mike, you should not call them widgets. It is very derogatory. You should also not call them Kimo. Let's be clear, this is not allowed. So when you see these names, don't think that it is allowed. No, it is not allowed. To call somebody a dwarf, it is not allowed to call somebody a midget. It is not allowed to call somebody to call somebody a Kimo. It is not allowed to call them a Fupi. It is very, very offensive. So how should you? Uh, refer to them. This is allowed. And even the official just mentioned there, you should call them persons with short stature. Persons with short stature, or you can call them little person. You mentioned um, uh, when he, that in the United States, that's, there's actually an association called the Little Person Association of America. Yeah. So in Kenya, we call ourselves short stature. Short Stage Association of Kenya. Yes, Society of Kenya. Society of Kenya. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So what else do you deal with in terms of the association? What exactly mm -hmm. do you deal with with these people? Um, empowerment is the most key okay. because these people come from different family perspectives and communities, but they are joined together by something for them being short stature. So yes. one of the key things is empowerment because when they come together, they empower another person who is out there. Mm -hmm. Most of them, they work, they have their own business, they are entrepreneurs, others, they have families. Mm -hmm. And apart from soccer, we have a team that uh, mostly do acting. We have actresses and actors. That's a comedy team. Comedy team, you should yes. have brought them here. Yes, uh, I think next time. <laughs> Most of them, they are here also. Okay. And there are others who also do other sports. We have para badminton team. We have others who do swimming. We have others who do powerlifting. So actually, they are different because they live in a community whereby I think this community was made for people of regular yes. height. Mm -hmm. So for us coming in and now being in like in our own world, it's yes. a different perspective. So we have to make the world fit us as persons of short stature. Okay. Yes. Now, when you talk about the other sports, this is not your first sport. Yes. We've known you in the sports circle. Yes. Maybe somebody who's watching you for the first time. Mm -hmm. How can you, how would you describe yourself in terms of your association mm -hmm. with sports mm -hmm. as Mweni? As Mweni, I love sports. I started playing table tennis and then I again play para badminton. Actually last year, and this year we were competing in Uganda and for now I'm um, the first person in SS6 because in para badminton we have different categories and classes so in our classes short stature we have SS6 I'm the first woman in Africa as wow. per now okay yes and we also have our own Ia Mariga who is ranked I think 17th in the world mm. and also Anthony okay. they play very well so what inspired me is to play the game to be fit. For you to be healthy, you must be fit. Sure. So if you don't exercise, I don't mean running every day around the compound, around the streets. No. Yes. But in any way that you can exercise and be fit in your own way, you are fit. Yes. Wow, I'm learning a lot yes. today actually. So this, the team, our lines, Wakona, how many players are there? Is there a specific number because of mm -hmm. the challenges? Mm -hmm. You've got different people coming in mm. every other day. Yeah, different people come in, different people go out because of their own issues, maybe because of the challenges that they face, as the coach said about Basfair. But we have Nairobi team, we have Wasengishu team, and we have Mombasa team. Mm -hmm. I think for now we are around 60 in numbers. 60? Yes, for those who play soccer. And, and, and for those who are um, uh, 
playing other sports in terms of the sports persons mm -hmm. in the whole organization. How many are there? Because if football alone are 60, yes. what's the total number of those who take part in sports? I think they're around, for now you can say 20, who fully participate in other sports. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, when it comes to, not so much attention is given mm -hmm. to this team. Actually, when we, when we looked at what they've done and we saw shots of um, their training, we said we need to invite them in the studio sure. and we we'll see what they can do. D does it really make them feel disappointed that people are really not mm. paying so much attention mm -hmm. to them as being able sports persons? Mm -hmm. Does that bring a challenge when you're trying to convince others to join whichever team? Yeah, it's a challenge because people don't have that confidence in this team, I can say. Because they, we have not gotten any support. People, yeah, they know that there's a certain team that plays soccer for short people. But they don't yet have that confidence. Like if they're having a friendly, like on 15th, they're having their friendly with black and beans in, will they come and support? Will they come and cheer up? So people don't have that confidence. I don't know it's because they are, we don't play too much, but you know, we are still a young club. We are coming up because of the friendlies that we are going to have. I think people will be able to know that there's teams that exist and they need this kind of support. But why is it that um, regular people, when they play, they are supported? Why is it that when it comes to persons with disabilities, they are not given that much support? But well, the government is trying to give persons with disabilities support when it comes to their competitions and championship towards even Tokyo 2020. But why is it that a certain thing can, like this cannot be supported? Not only from the government, what about the private sector and other stakeholders? What about individuals? Someone coming up and saying, I'm going to give you shoes, I'm going to buy for you uniform, I'm going to buy you the balls, we need like 10 balls, because if you play with one ball and um, Imeribika, what will you use next? Yeah. So we need people to come up and support because I think in our community we live where my people live with different diversity and it's only that coming up together and bringing us together that would create that love and also show them that yeah we love you. Okay. Yes. In terms of uh, giving them the exposure that is required, when you have these big matches or when we have Kenyan Premier League, big match, God versus FC Leopard, Sofapaka versus Tasca. Have you approached the authorities and told them, look, we need to raise awareness about this team and they play football as well. So when your teams are warming up, would you allow our players to be doing their game on the side so that it brings the attention mm -hmm. of the whole country to them? Have you tried that approach? Um, actually, when we had in 2017, but before then this club was, wasn't there yet. In 2017, they had World Dwarf Games and they were supposed to go to the US to play. We are, approached different companies and different uh, people to come and support, different Premier League, even Sport Pesa. I tell you, no reply came, like a positive reply. But I think for now, as we are moving on, because of the media awareness, I think if we approach them, they are going to support. I'm sure, I'm sure they will yes. be responding very much to you right now. Bernard? Right, Mike, of course, you asked a question in the beginning of the show. Is Arambe Stars good enough to progress from the group stages at the Africa Cup of Nations? Right. Uh, let's see here. This is a gentleman called At Olia Swani. You say very much. The team is the strongest I've seen in the recent, in the recent past, I believe. And now they have everyone's support. This time, the least we can reach is the quarterfinals. Very optimistic there from that gentleman who is watching. Uh, another gentleman, At Lee Manyange. You say... I believe we have a capable Harambe Stars squad, but if they are to go past the group stages, they should be on their level best. But football is 90 minutes and anything can happen. One final one here. At Danilo Mwangi, where the ladies kindly send your responses, send your feedback regarding our question. But Dante says, we ain't good enough to progress from the group stages, considering the fact that we are pitted against the Teranga Lions, that is Senegal, and the Desert Foxes, that is Algeria, who are too much for Kenya to handle. Hope they prove me wrong. But a person who is proving me right right now, of course, is the chef behind the scenes here, just preparing something very, very fascinating. Chef, what is this? What are we having for lunch? Uh, necessary, it's not like it's, we're having lunch. It's like a evening snack, afternoon after lunch. Uh -huh. Then we're making you rainbow rainbow resort sandwich mm -hmm. it has six toppings yes uh, beside me i have my colleague joseph Ombogo. 
Ah, we are going to make you sandwiches. Sandwich, sandwiches and it's going to have meat, eggs and vegetables on top of it. Something good for one after exercising or playing football. <laughs> Something that is going to re energize your energy and give you that leave you entertaining taste on your okay. on your throat as you as we go along. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chef. As she said, uh, this is a post workout meal. I can see it's a lot of protein. Um, hopefully, uh, there will be some vitamins uh, as far as uh, the meal is concerned. Right, welcome back to the Monday Football Show. Of course, we took a break uh, earlier on and we're interacting with the Lion Star FC, a very unique team that has just given us a sense of how the beautiful game has changed some of their lives. And we're back uh, interacting with the gentleman on my extreme left. He's the captain, you can see himself. He's been always <laughs> animated, passionate. First of all, and Joseph, let us find out. Uh, yeah. Usani ulikuwa actor ulikuwa mwanamuziki? Mpaka sasa bado mimi ni actor. Uh -huh. And nimekuwa beba beba, nimekuwa antibus protein. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So hapo ndo jina soko ilitoka. So wewe unafanya ngao usanii na pia unacheza ball. Yeah, yote. Ali ulikuwa umetuambia ulikuwa shabiki wa Man U Poleni, hii msimu umekuwa ngumu. <laughs> Hata sasa hivi bado mimi ni kwa Madi. <laughs> sasa gutu ambie tuintroduce team yenu. Oh. Hii the gentleman here anaitwa Jeremy Mariga. Uh -huh. Eke ye keter, uyu di assistant wangu captain, uh -huh. tunasaidia nanga na ye kukulani hii captain, uh -huh. tukona salamu zetu special, sa zetu lefika kwa soka, uh -huh. hivi. <laughs> Iyo dia yetu, Yodo yenyu, uh -huh. then tukona pawi hapa tunamitanga Ozil, Ozil, Ozil pia. Ana, mwone, penduka kidogo tuone ile shatu yu namba kumekewa. Number kumi. Number ten. Uh -huh. eh, mimi yangu ni seven. Number seven. Seven uh -huh. is the luckiest number. Yes. <laughs> Apa niko na Anto. Uh -huh. Auna Nik special salamu na... Hmm? Niko na ye. Sasa hiyo na manisha nini yu umefanya hivi na manisha nini yu kidogo? Eh, yodi ya tutu. <laughs> eh, uh -huh. Niko na Jacob mwenye we. Uh -huh. eh, Commander Ru. Yodo tunamuitanga. Uh -huh. Eka hiyo Ferdinand. Ferdinand. We akishika defense. Uh -huh. Ramda Hakuna mtu napita. Hakuna. Uh -huh. Na akipita Ramda napita hapo akiwa maiti. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Hapa niko na Jackson mwenye we. Eka hiyo we irago. Uh -huh. Ude me, mesu yetu. Uh -huh. Kimona akiwa hivi akishika tu ya bor. Uh -huh. Mpira jitua tu kwa mgui na enda inajifia vau. <laughs> Kavisa. <laughs> Yeah. So tuanze na Messi. Messi tuambie umekuchezea Lion Stars imekuwa kwako aje. Tuambie sana sana challenges za watu ambao kwa na short stage. Kwa sababu tumeongea hapo about hizo majina watu tumia kwako imekuangaje? Challenge yangu tunaonanga sana. Mm. Eh watu microphone shule vijua. Yeah, kutuangalia. Mhm. Mm eh but hiyo you know, mimi kwa gudi nimezoea. Mm. Na nimeelewa na na kila mtu anakuwa na na mix na kila mtu. Mm -hmm. Eh na Chelsea zimekuanga mob kwa wezi kama kama sana sana unaendanga wezi wanakuanga kama wanakuwa nao kama uko mfupi mm. wezi fanya kazi sasa kuajiriwa kwetu mm. vigumu wewe ufanya nini aside kucheza ball sasa hii mimi ni mwanabiashara wewe ni mwanabiashara eh, okay I have electronic mm -hmm. pipeline na mimi huwa nauza hapo mm -hmm. na niko na ufanyi kazi wangu okay sasa hii biashara inaendelea okay na na bado mimi bado ni mwanabiashara bado mimi ni Acta. Kweni acta. Ok. Yeah. Bwana Jacob, tuambie. Mekua kicheza ball, defense. Nini lika jisaidu kasamata mini kwe defender? Nani kwe inspire? Ajua, nini captain nini mwangi about uh, team ya inje? Wewe pia usupport team za huku locally? Ndiyo, una support. Mm, team gani una support locally? Hapa locally na support Gormaya. Na support Gormaya. Mekua na season 50 sana? Sao. <laughs> Wenda kuwatch games hao? Nani? <laughs> Wenda kuwatch games a Gor? Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nani kwe inspire kwa team ya Gor? Nini? Mkata, Isa yenge na nyanu Onyango Onyango? Ya Unazasema yu squad ya Rambi Stars Unazasema yu squad ya Rambi Stars Unazasema yu Rambi Stars Vile imenda prepare for AFCON Unayona vipi Unatunuliza swali kama hii team vile hiko Kama tunezenda past group stages Uwe kumoni yako unayona vipi Minaona kama squad yiko sawa Na inaisapeleka Kenya mahali Yeah. Ina zatupele kama mali mali ni wapi? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
quarters quarters unatufika yeah. quarters yeah. haya timetoa kwa hapo wewe unatufika quarters ama group stage zinaona labda ndio tutafika mwisho no. kwenye afcon afcon na naona tuki, tukifika finals unaona tukifika hey, na, finals na, 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 tuko na Tunaiza. tuko na Senegal kwa group yetu tuko na Algeria yeah. tuko na Tanzania yes. unafikiria kama we ni coach unaweza sema mpangilio wake tutakuwa ipo fast ndio tufikie round of 16 no sai sai like naweza sema so far with the with the condition yenye wanachezea wanatrainia climatic condition yenye wako sai mm-hmm. it's more better preferable kushinda these others cause hapo ndio umejea ukicheza ball lazima ukwe na gas lazima ukwe na gas right yeah. ni kweli lazima ukwe na gas na lazima ukwe na nguvu yeah. so uka unaendelea kucheza the same the normal weather that you are used to mm. won't you won't change out utakuwa na hizo you won't gain anything okay yeah so bila umeenda huko hizo majuna with that condition it's perfect it's perfect ozi yeah. yes mbona unapenda mess to ozi livyo <laughs> alinispire sana anajua kucheza ball aha uh-huh. mm-hmm. Alioa <laughs> sio kuolewa ndio alioa hapo nimeanguka mtihani nimepata yeah. 4 out of 10 but ulimtumia message at least kuombe congratulations alioa eh kuna hakika tutaangalia hapa kwa social media tukomba kabisa uliomwambia nini nilimwambia congratulations hata <laughs> <laughs> kwa status yako hata kwa status yuko kabisa sawa <laughs> assistant captain tuambie Yes. Tumongi about some of the challenges. Tuambi another unique challenge kucheza nga ball for watu ambao wako na short stitch. Unaweza tuambia because yours is unique. Your situation is unique. Mhm. Uh-huh. challenge mm. like sisi watu tunacheza size 4. Right. And uh, we have seen here to size 5. 5 yes. Size 5. Mm-hmm. So uh, that is one discrimination. Hapa mwetonesha mmoja. So I think next time tutapata size 4 this mu Mweze pia ku, ku, okay. kujua sia pesi stuko mm. and uh, we play football. Advantages? Yes. Advantages. What do you think some of your physical attributes in Australia which is a game we are fit. <laughs> like we go fit. We go fit. Yeah. Monday football. Right. Let's okay, not uh, okay. share the surprise yet. Let's yes. keep them guessing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we also have another gentleman here who is w- w- been working behind the scenes. Uh, Mike is a coordinator. You also called Mike. <laughs> oh, there's so another Mike in studio. He's also called Mike. I think we'll just come with him here to the a small kitchen here so you in charge of coordination yes uh, to ambie as in in terms of of course diet uh, the other things what do you do in behind the scenes in terms of these players to ensure that they're in tip top shape um first of all what is important is coordinating um, their training sessions right. ensuring that uh, um at least they put in some uh, some 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 work um co practice right. so that uh, whenever we we get them friendly matches they are at least fit enough to to play um and then coordinating how they get to their friendly um venues and um even when they're playing um other matches um it is important to get them there and out of there um so i push a lot behind uh, behind the scene okay um how are they generally what how is the team culture what do you say is the team culture comparing um with um the the time they started um we can see a lot of changes okay. in, in terms of even technique itself okay. um, um even their their skill level uh, ball skills we can see a lot of improvement um that one year's done and we can imagine uh, if they go on for long um what changes we can uh, we, we fantastic can see. now of course we've worked up quite the appetite mike <laughs> and i can see the chef here has prepared for us something she said this are sandwiches it's just a small bite to sandwich sandi sandwich gani meva mimi naona nyama mayai nini mandizi mandizi zote zinaunganishwa basically we are making rainbow rainbow sandwich rainbow sandwich yes iko wapi le meva tuanze kukula ndio ya this the whole sandwich sandwich ndio hii sasa unganishe basi tuone okay basically yes these are what ndo kuna bread unaweka naona cheese it has five uh-huh. it has the bread has the all, the, all the mic properly yes has the bread has the eggs has the cheese has the beef has lettuce and on and tomatoes well. and tomatoes as well yeah ah sasa si si chef atengeneze moja tukiona unaanzia wapi kwanza unaanzia lettuce normally the lettuce ske microphone lettuce ina kwange moshwa kitambo mbele uh-huh. unaweka a little bit of tomato slices 
Okay. After tomato slices, I'll put the egg. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, egg ni mzuri kwa cholesterol. Na watu wakitoka kucheza wana kwa ngomeban cholesterol nyingi, so they need something to redeminize their energy. Mm -hmm. And then I put the beef. Meat ni mzuri for bodybuilding. Okay. Proteins. Yeah, proteins good for bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. Kitokea hapu na eka cheese. Cheese is good for digestion. Anytime you take cheese, I feel your stomach is a, it's not digesting food easily. You take cheese, it has said, yeah. Kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. Uh, lactose intolerance. Lactose intolerance, sana sana. Kuna. Atajipanga. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid cheese. Atayeka cheese. Atayeka cheese. Atayeka cheese. Yeah, Atayeka cheese. Like General cheese. Atayeka cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Afu, na mfunikia. Ujaeka sauce, nini, nini? Sauce. Sauce ni gani yo? Sauce inaekwa kwa salad, yenye na kwa salad. Na hii cheese. Aha. Na mtengenezi ya hivi. Na afu, ready to serve. Ready to serve. I put the salad with the dressing and I give na mpatia na smoothie ya kumongezi ya nguvu wa sifila na kula tu protein pike yake. Kapi kwa api? Kimbi hapa, anza, 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 kuja wanze, kuja wanze, kuja wanze. Hii tunashia na wewe. Hey, hey, wacha hey. na wana nyama wewe. <laughs> wacha nyama. Ndiyo <laughs> hiyo. Hai. Mbabla sinu wazuri. Kutia lunch nini nini. Hapo yeah. sasa. Akikula hii. Yes. Na mtengenezi ya smoothie. Yenye tamongeza nguvu. Asifila na kula protein sana. Na sinyongwe pia. Na sinyongwe. Na sinyongwe. Hai. Come round by si. For the first time, Mike, yeah. the captain is quiet. Well, it's very quiet. <laughs> it's been very noisy. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So, your smoothie is going to chef? Uh -huh. It's going mango, it's going banana, pineapple, watermelon, it's going mint, kidogo and danyake for seasoning, na for advertising taste. Akitaka kuwa na. Unajua kikulu unafa kunasikia, unafilu unakula kitu string. Unajua wajazo ya kula kitu kama hii. Uh -huh. So, unataka tuwa treat, wa feel. Kapi mwame njini mkwane wa simkoju. Hizi mmezo ya snow. Unawasikia nasi ya majazo ya so, unataka feel. Yani, the touch where, unajua kika mrainbow, atapata ni place where the county na blend na city. So, nataka feel yo testi ya city ndani ya kushago. Nyama nuna kuna iva? Okay. Kapu jangan jangan dia bilai ko. Ye? Bubu game Mike when it comes to eating. Kapu sa. Ah, kapu yang gay sa. Nama sama apa aku nak kubongga? Nukum minya. Iko. You know, Eza? <laughs> so you can see here, uh, continue to reading the feedback. And remember, we asked you as far as Arambe stars. You can see here, uh, this is another one called Omolo. You say that uh, Arambe stars will go past the group stages. Kapi? Do you want to go to the next one? Sodaya babito? Aya, honze unemeka wani kama babito. So it's called for the assistant. So as we serve our guests today, the lions from Nairobi, this is very interesting. Bernada Mesema ni Swambie, what is coming up, but look out. Cup of Nations is starting, we have a show and a half for you. We'll be doing a show for Cup of Nations. Watch out. The promo will be out soon. Maybe even today. You never know. So as we serve lunch. Yama, sit come to serve, Yama. And as we wind up, Mike, yes. I'm seeing yes. a message here. Somebody's asking. We're usually three. Yes. Somebody's asking, why is Mukami Wambora? Of course, she's taken a short break. Uh, she'll be resuming uh, very soon. She took a, a, a small break and she'll be back with us very soon. So, Mike, from the entire Lion Stars team, we just want to say also thank you very much for joining us. Uh, hopefully, as you prepare for your game against um, uh, some of the other teams that have uh, persons with short stature traveling to Morocco. All the best and thank you so much for joining us. DJ Crossfit as well and Rainbow Ruiro Resort. Thank you as well for the lunch. See you again next Kabeza. week. Aye, karibu. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh my darling 